There are now 4 million Syrian refugees registered with the UN Council for Refugees. More than half depend on food aid. The agency is short on donor funding and has been forced to make drastic cuts. Many refugees are now considering a return to their war-torn homeland. CCTV's Stephanie Freed reports from Jordan's Zatari refugee camp. The world's largest humanitarian agency fighting against hunger is being hit by its biggest funding crisis ever. Donors have dropped support for Syrian refugee food aid, forcing the World Food Program to cut rations of the people who need them the most. During the past half year, the organization has implemented a series of food aid cuts going from $28 per person per month to $10. And now they're saying the worst case scenario is about to happen. In August, if we do not receive 11 million US dollars, 440,000 refugees living in the communities will not receive any assistance whatsoever. Cutoff aid means potential starvation for Syrians barely getting by on the current allocation. Some families are coping with already meager rations by pulling children out of school, sending them to work odd jobs to provide income. Others are predicted to head to refugee camps for guaranteed meals. Camp directors are expecting an influx of new arrivals come August. One woman told me that every time she sees an SMS alert, her heart jumps to her throat because she feels that Oh God, maybe this is a, a, a message telling me that I'm either going to be cut off assistance, there's no assistance this month, or my assistance will be reduced due to lack of funding. That fear may soon become reality. Raising $11 million by August appears highly unlikely. One of the most disturbing offshoots of the food crisis, refugees are returning to war-torn Syria saying, quote, I'd rather be killed quickly than die a slow death of starvation. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Amman, Jordan.